Hi there, Craig Hocknell here, Director of Instruction at Glen Wild Golf Club in Park City, Utah. I just figured it would be kind of cool to show you a little bit different camera angle when hitting a bunker shot. So I'm going to hit a couple of shots and then I may do a little slow motion uh, rewind just so that you can see how the club kind of works through the sand. So uh, we're in a little bunker here right at the back of number 12 at Glen Wild. Uh, you don't want to be in this bunker because if you get it out over this tiny little lip, now your golf ball is racing kind of down the hill, typically very fast greens here toward the water hazard on the other side. So what I'm going to do is just hit a couple of shots and talk to you about how that club really kind of works through the sand. So <clears throat> we have to have uh, a little bit of an aggressive club head speed through the sand. But what happens through the bunker is that sand is really what propels the ball. So if you can see right here, you'll see that the club is entering the sand, but the, the sand is now separating the ball and the club face. So I've got about maybe half an inch to three quarters of an inch of sand that's gonna get in between. And then what's gonna happen is that sand is effectively what's gonna bring that ball out of the bunker. So when you get in here, you have to remember that it's the sand that's moving the ball, not necessarily the club. There's a couple really important things to remember with that. When the sand moves the ball and not the club face, you don't really have to worry so much about the accuracy of the club face. That club face doesn't have to, it doesn't really matter if it's square, open, or closed because the club face itself is not really hitting the ball. There's a pillow of sand and if you think about the pillow in your bed, it's fluffy and it's rounded. So depending on the pathway that I move the club, if I move the club in a pathway that's out here to the right, that's the direction the ball's going to go. If I move the club on a pathway that adds some angle, that pillow of sand's going to go up. If I move it low, pillow of sand's going to stay low. So let me hit a couple of different shots here for you. Um, let's see if I can slow them down in post so that you can see it. Here's the club face opened up. I'm going to dig my feet into the sand just a little bit because the height that you dig your feet, the depth that you dig your feet, if I turn my club upside down and measured, that's going to put me an inch and a half to two inches under the sand. So when you see tour players digging their feet, they're essentially lowering themselves into the sand while also somewhat testing the surface to see if it's soft, fluffy, crunchy. That is within the rules. I can't go in here with my hand and feel around. That would be breaking the rules. So here's a bunker shot, digging my feet, lowering my hands, opening the club face, pick it up, slide it under. You can hear the thud of the sand, not the click of the club face. Try that again. I'll do it, I'll do it slower so it looks even slower when I, when I put it in slow motion. Okay, thump of sand, not click of golf ball. Try one more. Obviously I swung that slowly so it barely got out. I'll swing just a little bigger. Also look at the length of the swing. There we go, nice and high. Tons of sand. The amount of sand that I removed right here is about the size of my foot. Okay, so I'm removing all of that sand, sliding it up in the air. The club is doing all the work. I'm putting the energy. The pathway sends the ball out in the direction I want. So when you've seen information about cutting across it, well now the pathway is cutting across it. So the ball could actually come out left, even though the club face is open, because the, the sand is being moved to the left, whichever direction that sand goes, pretty much the direction the ball goes. So hopefully that helps you next time you're out on the course. 